Well, this is a predicament. Hello, my skulls. What's going on? It's Andrew or Skullage Key here, and today we have an unboxing of a Panasonic Lumix DMC G7KS. Uh, it's an Amazon like camera bundle thing, so it comes with a bunch of accessories. Free in this case, because uh, I guess everything's on sale or has been on sale. It's $600, which is the price of the camera on Amazon right now. So, get a bunch of accessories with it. Hopefully, everything's in here, and hopefully I didn't get ripped off at all. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't have super large amount of space here. Make sure my address is not on this. All right, let's get all this out. Uh, yeah, well, there's a lot of crap in here. Maybe I can't quite do that. All right, let's look at this. So um, one thing at a time here. Here we have a fundamental filter kit. So this is a three piece kit, 46 millimeter. Um, so it's like, uh, it's got, let's see, you've got, uh, UV filters, CPL filters, and uh, ND8 filter. Don't quite know what those do. Those will just go on to the, uh, the end of the lens there. Um, what's this? So here we have a little goodie bag, basically. This has a lot of the small stuff in it. So, whoops. So this has an uh, SD... Um, and micro SD card reader. Limited lifetime warranty. Would you look at that? Here we have a little uh, case for SD cards. Let's open this. Oh, that's pretty nice. Does it? It. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's got uh, two also micro SD little holders in there as well. That's awesome. Here we have a Transcend 16 megabytes per second, 32 gigabyte um, uh, SD card here. Let's grab this guy out because I'm going to need to put him in to see G7. Uh, and then here we have a, a ring adapter. And then we have uh, some image recall software. Interesting. And then here we have some uh, screen protectors. And then here we also have my battery. My extra battery, which, you know, I'm definitely going to need that when going on uh, some camera shoots. Oh, uh, one of these. There's the battery. It's got a little plastic housing. I'm going to leave that on for now. Sorry, I'm not getting this in the light. I don't have very big lights for this. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, back here, we have a uh, cleaning kit. Not probably ever going to use that. Lens cleaner. Here, we have a little bag. So what this thing is for is, uh, well, it's a camera bag. Um, so if we open it up, we can put our camera in there, uh, in this back pouch here. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the lighting setup. Then we have some spots for you know, lenses um, and different things. I'll go over that a little bit later. But again, camera setup not super great at this point. I can grab the rest of this out. So here we have a uh, tripod. Not meant to be super great, but it's a little bendy tripod here. Um, similar to like a Joby Gorilla Pod. It's uh, kind of cheap, but that's what you expect. It's got a little removable um, plate and then some tightening stuff that's on, a, it's on a, a ball. That's pretty nice. Then here we have a, a wide angle telephoto lens from Precision Design. It's a little bit damaged, not too happy about that. Um, these lenses 
aren't meant to be super great, but they do go on to the, uh, oh, they come up with little bags. That's nice. Um, they do have a little adapter, and they slot onto the lens of the actual camera. And speaking of that camera, here's the, ooh, damage box. All right, a little weary of that now. Ooh, I got that. My mistake. This is the silver model. As I uh, mentioned a bit earlier, the KS. Here we go. So, we have the manual. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm never gonna... Yeah, we have the manual and the CD. <laughs> you know, if you want to use that. Ha! <laughs> uh, um. Oh, alright, here we are. So let's get, uh, I don't know, what else, what can we get out first? Well here we have, in this back container, the battery, the charging cable, or, is that cable? It's a really small, really small cable. Um, and then here we have the actual charger for the battery. There we go. Lumix battery charger just plugs into the wall there. Don't quite know what this is. I guess we'll see. It's very small. It's a USB. Uh, open this battery up and get that charging because I'm sure it's not going to have juice in it. And then here we have ah the lens hood and a little little tiny lens because this is a micro four thirds sensor, so it's going to be. Um, Pretty small. Here's the lens hood. That out. I'm probably not going to use that, but you know, if I ever want to. And then here's the actual body of the camera. It's pretty small. There's the inside. If you want to know, it's a um, it's a pretty small camera, which is going to be nice. It's portable. Oh, I like that. It's silver. I actually don't mind the silver in person. It looks a bit better uh, than I thought. Here's the strap. I'm probably not gonna use that either. But here's the camera. Oh, so it's got an electronic viewfinder. Here's the hot shoe plate, the hot shoe mount up there. We've got tons of custom buttons. We have a really, really nice um, display here. So it's selfieable, which is nice. And you know, looking down. You can actually also uh, do it like this. So if you like to use a screen like that, it's touch screen. Uh, this camera shoots 4K, so that's awesome. It's got a bunch of custom function buttons like all over it, like there, and this is changeable, and this is changeable, and that's changeable, and that's changeable. Um, got the different kinds of focus, got pop-up flash. Um, then we have our different camera settings up here and over here. So this is uh, shooting settings, 4K burst, burst mode, um, time lapse, that sort of thing. Then over here we have our power switch and the different types of shooting as well. And this was rented, uh, recommended to me by uh, Geekanoids. I don't know if you know who that is. But he recommended this because it's a 4K camera. Very, very cheap. $600 for this guy with all these accessories. And then uh, extra $130 for the microphone, which is right here. I'll be putting on that. Looks going to look giant. But besides the point, let's put the lens on. There's the little micro four thirds sensor in there. There, and that's the camera. And here's the lens. There you go. This is the 14 to 42. There's our zoom. And then our focus frame. Very, very, very smooth. I'll go over this a little bit more actually. So here we have this little side panel with HDMI. Uh, oh, it's the AV cable maybe? Yeah, we've got the remote, we have HDMI out and uh, AV out slash digital. There you go, that's, that's what that cable is. 
And then here we have the microphone input where I will of course plug that microphone into. And then down here is the little uh, area where the battery is going to go. So we'll just line this up. I believe it goes like so. Am I stupid? Might be. There we go. I'm right. Put that in. Then take your SD card. Figure out which way this goes in. Like that. Right there. And that little thing. Then you lock it. Open the screen. I'll do it like this for now. And then turn it on. Please set the language. Set that. Is that, is that it? Is that, what, is that what we're doing? That's it? So this is a very small display. Um, it's, I believe, OLED or AMOLED, one of the two. I have to learn how to use all of this. It's gonna be great. Well, there's your autofocus. Okay, so as I'm filming this portion of the unboxing, this is the day before my G, uh, my G7 actually came in. So this, I this is just kind of like preliminary. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's take a look. Here's the uh, the Dead Cat Go for the uh, for the microphone, and then right here is the Video Mic Go lightweight on camera microphone. So these are from Rode. Um, I thought the people who make these were a different company than Rode. Uh, maybe Rode bought them. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, or they've always made them, and I just had no idea. Let's open this. Um, so I don't have a camera to put this on for you yet. I'll do that in the portion I film tomorrow, but you're actually seeing at the same time. You know what I mean. That's very fluffy. Um, I got some tape. So here's the manual. Not that we really look at this, but let's look at it. Just see what's on it. Probably not much. Um, basically how to set it up. Make sure you put the sound recording. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Secure the cable. Got it. Okay. Well, there's that. Um, here's the cable. Comes in a little bag. And this is a, a nice coiled cable so it can stretch. And it's just like that. And then here is the actual microphone itself. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Should be for a hundred dollars. Um, video might go. Made in Australia. If you can see that. It's actually really nice. It's nice plastic. Um, so this is a shock mount. If you don't know what this is, this is a shock mount. Uh, it's basically there so when you're filming and it's bouncing that you don't hear the bounce of the camera so it absorbs that and kind of stays stable then here we have our hot shoe mount right there yeah so then you'll just plug this in here and then the other end of the camera and then I'll go on top and yeah so I assume with this I put it, yeah, I take this off. What this does, there we go. That looks fluffy. So what this does is it uh, absorbs the wind when filming outside. There, looks actually very professional um, and stupid, but professional. It absorbs the wind when filming outside so you don't get as much as the, the <laughs> when you're filming, so. Yeah, I'm super excited to put this on the camera. That's that. If you've come here looking for um, some sort of, you know, like, um, video sample, I'll, I'll give that at a later date, probably in a review of this guy. But for now, this has been the Lumix G7. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to learn everything about it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'll link to the review uh, once I do it. And this guy on Amazon, my bundle specifically, and the just the camera down below. And uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, go ahead. I will see everyone later. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Take care.
I said I wasn't going to do it, but I guess I am. Here is a uh, camera and microphone test. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, by the way, because I want to see how it looks. And I, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I um, don't mind it. This is 1080p60. I think it'll be exported as 30. But it looks pretty sweet and is definitely a step up from the crap I was using before my camcorder. So I'm really excited about this camera and with a microphone I'm sure it'll sound way better. So yeah.